What's up, YouTube? AOJR here, and welcome to Firewatch. Now, I'm recording this right after playing Somerville. Um, if y'all didn't see that, I kind of don't blame you. That game wasn't as good as I was hoping it would be. I, I might still finish it if y'all still want to see it. Now, this, though, this was a game I got recommended before Somerville, and it's also a game that came out a long time ago. And, you know, I've been ready to play it for a minute now, so let's jump right in. I heard that the story in this game is really just, like, out of this world good. And I heard that it's basically just walking simulator. But, I mean... If the story good, I don't care what the gameplay is to be honest, so let's see. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. You see Julia. Am I supposed to interact? Bro, she's about your age. Late twenties. Laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. Bruh. You, you're... So, what's your, you know, major? You slur the word major and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. <laughs> cool what's yours she asks she sniffed the air toxicology was that a burn <laughs> you ask she says definitely worried she hurts your feelings she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger one week later you are julia's boyfriend dang okay <laughs> i didn't know it made it look that easy huh? oh oh Okay. Backpack equipped. Let's go. Where are we going? To the car and truck bay. Load gear. <laughs> you date for over a year. Over a year. But she drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. I bet. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a few of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Life would be better if we had some Sprite Cranberry. Julia wants to get a dog. Bet. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's, a, there's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. That's... Yeah, I'm definitely getting that. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's bad. Yep. German Shepherds are dope. We're getting that. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. That's why That's why I like dogs so much. Because you, you can do whatever you want with a dog. I, I do a lot of working out and you know physical stuff i could take my german shepherd with me we could just go to the park and do whatever like i don't i don't want no no small house dog no you talk out on the deck it's summer oh oh so it's 1979 now 9 30 and the heat still radiates off the high desert what do you think about kids she asks kids they're not they're not very smart or good at much I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. That would be pretty good. I, I ain't gonna lie. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that. I would. These kids are going to be screwed up, though. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. <laughs> you say she's absolutely right. I guess. Ooh. Dorof thoroughfare trailhead 
Do not forget to check in. No fireworks. Under the repairs. Got a map. That's how you sprint. Okay, thank goodness. Yo. These graphics are beautiful. I'm gonna say that right now. It's a Thursday night. Next year. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angry about a minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. What you doing? She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. Oh. Yeah, okay. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Now, if it was me, you coming home at two in the morning after you've been lit all night. I would have a few choice words, but I wouldn't say them, right? Because I don't. I tend to avoid conflicts if it means that the other person just I just don't like arguing with people I'd rather fight in my own head than fight with somebody else so I'm gonna ignore you don't touch each other all night fair the next day you feel guilty for being so angry I don't know about all that and ask her about her evening she says it was great you hold on to a tiny pill of resentment you make some coffee and go to work Julia still likes to draw. It's the next year again. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You frolic like a. <laughs> nah, give me that He Man pose. You look awesome. Fag. Hey, little superhero landing. Yo. Okay, first of all, this is running way better than freaking Somerville, dude. This is just, like, beautiful so far, to be honest. Oh my goodness. Sunset, bro. Sunsets are freaking beautiful, bro. Two forks, fire lookout. Press A to climb over obstructions. Cool. Yep, go ahead and absorb that. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. I bet. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Real bold, my me move freak D -d dog. Julia yells. Oh, mayhem ran away. I didn't even see that first line. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You you confront the attacker. <laughs> now, again. I, I avoid unintentional, unnecessary conflicts, but you ran up on us with a knife. <sighs> it does say I scare him away though, so let's do that. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. He managed to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the wither, by the river. I I have no idea why I said wither. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Oh. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Dang. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. 
Dang. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. The last thing I want to do is stop my wife from going after her dream job. So if she commutes back and forth, then okay. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You'll tell her, you tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. I mean, I wouldn't mind moving with her, but I mean, I get it. I get it. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. So like 12 times a year, basically, I get to see my wife. That's a, uh, I don't know about that, but I guess it works. Julia is sent home to sent home from Yale at, on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing works that were important to her research. Books. I just said works. What the th she didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. What? Whoa, hold on. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Nah, we don't need to talk to nobody about it. That's what I'm here for. It works. You watch Dallas on TV and sleep together on the couch. That's what I'm talking about. Yo. Journal. Pick up. <laughs> oh, this is me? I thought my arms looked a little chunky. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia go goes back to university. 1987? Dude. Julia's affection gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason. It has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Dang. What's going on with her? Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child. Children, little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. Dang. She pulls you into bed to make love. <laughs> After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Dang. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Yo. 1988, next year. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with 24 hour care, a home. Uh, no, 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 no. You decided to move her into a full time, nah. Uh uh. I got this. I'm not about to give my wife to no facility. I'm, I, I can take care of her. Y'all need to worry about that. Yo, look at, like, look at the surroundings bro it is impossibly hard the worst is when you get mad at her like when she tries to cook her own food you can't do anything without her and she can't do anything without you why are you getting mad at her like bro just just watch her when she goes to sleep you stay up for a few hours drinking on the deck 
watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. Bro, y'all better be drinking Sprite Cranberry. That's you start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're going. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. Uh, I think she would actually hate if I put a chair in front of the door like that. She's like, oh, you don't trust me to sleep by myself? You little... I'm going to trust that she sleeps soundly. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. Um, Very weird. That's what we was just freaking mad at her for a few years ago. One night, you were stopped at a DUI checkpoint. Mm. All that freaking drinking. You blow a 10 and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. I guess they wasn't drinking Sprite Cranberry. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Dang, it must be a wreck. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. Dang! You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see your ad in the paper for a job. Bro, you take it. Is this how we start the Firewatch job thing? Bro. Wow. So this, that was all just the introduction. That was all the backstory. I want to look. I want to look over here real quick before we get into the watchtower. Thoroughfare lookout. Dude, like this atm just the atmosphere, and just I mean this is nice, dude. Outhouse wooden sign. What's this? Ugh. All right, let's get up here. I probably got a pretty good mo view of the moon from up here, huh? Yeah. Dang, this would be a nice job, dude. I would take this job, to be honest. It's literally just... Dude, this is nice, man. All right, let's get in. Turn on the power. The singular mind and glory. Oh, those are books. Cool. Stove. See, like we got a whole little. It's like a mini house up here. Kinda. Got everything we need to be honest. The radio, pine cone. Oh, this is the power. Turn it on real quick. I was too far away. I knew that. Flora of the Hello, system. Two Forks Tower. Oh. Voice acting? Yo. Okay. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Hello? Yo, we can... Okay, dude. We can pick our dialogue options, bro. Okay. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? We talk too? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great uh, idea. Calm down. Go ahead. She was just asking, bro. I hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... Sleep forever. Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. You've killed three ex husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Oh, these are Tom. Tom, uh, limited. Um, 
Nobody back home can stand you. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. <laughs> Ouch! Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Mm. Okay. All right, go ahead. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Whoa, bruh, day one. That's a good place to put the title screen. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. Mm. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. You can see me at my desk. Huh? But uh, we're going to wrap this one up here. Um, I'm enjoying this a lot more than freaking Somerville. I'll tell you that right now. The story is... 10 out of 10 so far the graphics are beautiful um, I'm, I'm just really liking this one so far I did not expect voice acting but yo they doing a good job with that too so we're gonna pick it up from here in the next one but hopefully you enjoyed if you did like comment subscribe turn on notifications so you don't miss the next upload stay safe god bless and until the next one